Hundreds of charter school advocates gathered at the Texas Capitol this morning pushing for alternatives to public school. They're pressuring lawmakers to pass the legislation in support of more non traditional school funding in the form of vouchers and tax credits. A similar effort failed back in 2017. Here to talk about this is Travis County GOP Executive Director Spencer Davis and Clay Robison from the Texas State Teachers Association. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thank you, Mike. Glad to be here. Spencer, Texas House Speaker Dennis Bonin, he's already said that one of his priorities is school funding. So what do you think the chances are that the legislature is going to take up vouchers? Yeah, I think vouchers are a more specific branch of this entire school finance and school choice question. And I think uh, Speaker Bonin has made very clear that a vote right now for school vouchers, which are just saying, hey, uh, we're going to spend state money to send kids to private schools, is not going to pass in 2019. And I think we're seeing a shared sentiment across the rest of the legislature that it's just less of a question, more, less of a topic uh, than it was in 2017. Uh, so I expect that we won't see as much about vouchers. Uh, we'll continue to see a lot more about school finance reform. Uh, hey, we have this public school system that needs to be fixed as it is. Uh, and if there is okay. another question about uh, vouchers, we'll see it in the future. You know, Clay, you know, as far as on the record, the Texas State Teachers Association, what is their stand on school vouchers? We're opposed to school vouchers and have been for a long time because they would take money from our public schools that already are underfunded, and that is where the vast majority of Texas school children will continue to be educated. Um, Clay, d does what is happening today as far as the legislature, the speaker, are school vouchers dead? We hope they are, but you know, we still have 100 and what, 30, 120 days left in the legislative session and anything can happen. We will continue to oppose them and oppose them quite strongly. But we, we're, we're encouraged by what the speaker said and we're also encouraged by the fact that the House has defeated vouchers on several different occasions in the past 20 years or so. Spencer, what about that? Is this kind of the death knell of school vouchers in the state of Texas? Again, I think we'll see it in the future once the public school finance question is addressed. Uh, I think we might still see some questions about and answers about school choice. Uh, again, school vouchers are just a different part of school choice. School choice also covers questions of magnet schools and home schools as well as charter schools. Uh, but I do expect that we won't hear much out of this legislature about school vouchers. You know, of course, the big focus so far has been funding schools properly. Clay, do you think the legislature will do it to the satisfaction of the Teachers Association this, this session? Well, any advancement we will be happy to see. How much they go for, it's, it's still too early to tell. But we are encouraged by the talk of putting extra money, extra state money into funding for public schools because that is the only way to increase resources for, that are badly needed in the classrooms. And it's the only way to bring relief to local property taxes, which is also a priority of the leadership. And Spencer, as far as the amount of monies that the legislature could put into school funding, mm -hmm. Where do you think that level is going to be? It's hard to answer right now. Uh, we haven't seen too many specifics in budgets. Uh, we expect it will increase from the state side. Uh, we, you know, from the Republican side, are also looking at this question of increased property taxes uh, and unfunded mandates. The governor addressed that in his inaugural address, not specifically about school choice, but about state programs in general. Uh, so yeah, I think we will see an increase, hopefully, of something that is acceptable to uh, school districts uh, and that will help them out, but also give the much needed relief to property tax. Right. Well, it's going to be all about making sausage now. Spencer, Clay, thank you both very much. Thank, thank you. you, Mike. Enjoy.